Hey everyone, so this last weekend I saw I Feel Pretty at the new Amy Schumer movie. Yep, I saw that. I, I really don't have much to talk about with this film, to be honest. It was, it was okay. You know, it's not the kind of movie I usually see in theaters. It's, uh, well, for the most part, I don't see a lot of comedies in theaters anymore. This is definitely the type of movie I would recommend to people to rent rather than watching in the theater. I, I just don't have much to say about this. I haven't looked online to see what the general consensus of this movie is. I, I don't know if people hate it, especially given that it's um, Amy Schumer and her sort of spot in the limelight as somewhat faded. I, I think some people have started disliking her. I think she's okay. I I don't really have an opinion that much either way in this film I thought she did well I trying to think of something to say about this film because it's, it just made no impact on me I I thought it had a nice message you know in terms of the quality of film I would describe it sort of along the lines of Shallow Howl with Jack Black if you remember that film you know it's okay. Um, yeah, it has a it has a good message, but it's it's definitely you know one that maybe you have on DVD. But for the most part, you you don't really watch that much. I'm trying to think of other things I can say about this film, other than it being an Amy Schumer film, I'm but coming up blank on thinking of who else was really in this film. Nobody else really stood out to me. I have to say that. It was it definitely was not an ensemble cast at all. This was a Amy Schumer film. Spotlighting her as an actress. And I, yeah, pretty much everyone else was somewhat forgettable. Uh her friends, her uh the other her boss. Uh, I guess the only, only other really other role that would have stood out would have been uh, the guy she ends up dating. And even for the most part, uh, it, it's just not that important to the story. Now, uh, I did mention comparing this movie to Shell Howe because one of the things I think story-wise that I'm not sure is done, it would be interesting to know the, the thought process behind uh, the making of this movie because I'm interested in whether it was made specifically in, uh, with someone like Amy Schumer in mind because the one thing compared to a movie like Shallow Howl is that we don't see what she sees. Like when she hits her head and she uh, starts seeing herself differently, we don't see that. You know, we I, it's not even a thing where we see and then we go back to seeing her as she is. We, we never get to see what she sees. Which I think, you know, makes sense because she's just seeing the ideal. And that even if you had a, a, a recast where, or you started out with a, a different actress and then, you know, had her transform into a supermodel, maybe some people wouldn't even think, well, why is that your ideal? Whereas in this case, you know, whatever she says, you know, she sees herself as the ideal. So I think I think it works for the movie, but it makes me wonder if that was part of the writing process where they uh, originally intended for a comedy star like Amy Schumer to be in it and not for it to be uh, something where uh, maybe it's a lesser known actress and then she's replaced by the real star of the movie or... That uh, would be even worse would be a uh, um, big name celebrity in a fat suit. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if a studio executive probably suggested that idea. Uh, it's probably a good thing they didn't go down that route. I'm trying to think. <sighs> this is probably going to be a very short video. 
you can tell I, I have a lot more to say about comic book movies than movies like this. I just, I don't know what to say. Like, um... I don't know. I... Okay, so... I don't really do reviews, so I'm not gonna say give it a score. But yeah, it's okay. Eh, yeah. Mm. Eh, eh, meh. Meh, mm, meh, I don't know. Uh, probably not. I don't know. I won't keep that. So, in conclusion, I feel pretty. I wouldn't recommend running to the theater and see it. Uh, you could probably wait for it to go on a streaming service of some kind if you want to pay for it. Or you could maybe wait even longer and see if it someday pops up on your Netflix queue. So, yeah, I wanted to make a video about a movie and haven't seen anything in a while so and I got dragged along to this this last weekend so Avengers comes out this weekend so excited for that maybe I'll make a um pre-Avengers movie about something I'm not I don't know. I don't have any major expectations. I'm not worried about it in the way I was worried when uh, before The Last Jedi came out. But maybe I'll make something for that. We'll see. Anyway, I think that pretty much wraps it up. This is a pretty short video, but... Well... Can't always have something to say. <laughs> well, um... Yeah. See you around.